In this video, we will explore the Weather Channel app for iPads. Once the app is downloaded, tap to open. When the app is open for the first time, it will ask to access your location to obtain weather information. You can choose to allow or not to allow the app to use your location. If you choose allow, the app will automatically populate the weather for your location. If you choose to not allow, it will populate the weather for a random location. Let's take a look at the main weather screen of the Weather Channel app. You can see at the top the now is highlighted and I am given the current temperature for my location. Also, the high and low temperatures are provided for the day. At the top, when I tap forecast, the app gives me additional information for the day and the next 10 days. If you scroll up on the left side of the app, you can view the hourly weather for your location. If you scroll to the left, you will see the weather forecast for the next 10 days, including precipitation, high and low temperatures, and cloud cover. You even have the option to share the current conditions, 10-day forecast, or hourly forecast on social media. When tapping on now, we move back to the main weather screen of the app. In the bottom left corner, you will find the settings. You have the option of changing the unit from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can find additional help and frequently asked questions here. Let's take a look at the bottom of your screen. We are currently on the weather screen. When you tap radar, this provides you with radar information for your location. You can pinch in and out to zoom in and out of the map. In the top left corner, tap play to watch precipitation move in and out of the area. In the top right hand corner, tap layers to see radar views of cloud cover, temperatures, and the UV index. Let's take a look at the cloud cover radar. By pressing play, you can watch the clouds move in and out of the area. Also in the layers, you can view the radars in road, satellite, and hybrid modes. Tapping back on the weather icon will bring you back to the main weather screen. At the bottom are additional options to provide you and your students with more information. The news icon provides news stories about the weather. The video icon provides video news stories. The health icon gives you information about pollen or other health concerns. Let's skip over to the magnifying glass. This is where you can look up a particular location's weather. Let's say I want to know the weather in Cancun, Mexico. In the text box, I will begin typing the city and the app will begin populating matches. Once the city you are searching for appears, you can tap on it. Tap back on the magnifying glass and the circle with the eye in it provides you with additional settings for that location. You can set the location as your home location, provide a nickname for it, and turn on and off alerts. Let's add one more location to our list. I want to know the weather in Sydney, Australia. Once you have more than one location in your list of favorites, you can swipe left or right across the screen to quickly scroll through them. To delete a location, tap on the magnifying glass, then tap Edit. Tap on the red circle next to the location you would like to delete. Another useful feature the Weather app provides is for travel. If you are planning a trip, you can check the weather for the dates of the vacation and research the average temperature for that time of year. Tap on the airplane and enter the travel destination. Let's say I'm traveling to Los Angeles, California. I can add
add the dates of the trip when I tap the plus sign on the left side of the screen. Let's say I'm going to LA from January 18th to the 24th. Tap the 18th and the 24th and then done. The app populates the weather for each day of my vacation. When I tap on one of the temperatures, it provides additional information for each day, including lows and highs and expected precipitation. On the right side of the screen, I am given a map of the city and a graph of the average weather each month in my destination location. Click Done to return to the main weather screen. There is a quick introduction to the weather app for iPads. I hope you found this app interesting and are looking forward to using it with your students.